Hello everyone! It's Robin. I know it's been so long since I've made a video, so I thought I'd make a quick video for you today. I've had so many things going on in my life. Um, just very busy, busy, busy. As the kids get older, there's a lot going on. So um, I'm in the mood today to make a quick uh, card, and I wanted to make something with a bird on it because birds are simple and cute, and I have a lot of stamp sentiments that go along with birds that I can use. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm using. I'm using straight from the nest Cricut cartridge, and I'll actually show you how to cut this out on the Cricut if you are new to the Cricut. Um, I'm using a really simple cut from this cartridge. I'm also using a bone folder. Um, I have misplaced my pretty pink one. My kids actually have taken it from my office, so I'm sorry about that, that it's missing from this video. I also have some paper that I purchased. This is from, I, I got it from shoppumpkinspice.com. Uh, Pumpkin Spice is the name of the store. And they have a, a bunch of just different pattern papers and um, kits and such. And I'm not sure the name of that one. And then I'm just using the co colors that coordinate with this paper. And I'm using brown. I usually use a brown or a black, you know, a nice um, neutral color with my color palette. I'm also using some, this is decorative trim ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. I love their ribbon because it's usually half off. So I spent $1.50 for nine feet, which is really not bad. And then I am also using, um, these are called Sticky Doos. You can use dimensionals, pop dots, whatever you'd like. I also purchased these from Hobby Lobby. I'm also going to be using my Cuddle Bug. You can't see it, I'm just going to go like this. This is, oops, as I break it, I don't think I broke it. <laughs> this is my Cuddle Bug. And I'm using the Divine Swirls folder. And I'm sure this one is still available. I'm Actually, I'm not really sure. But I'm hoping it is. You can use any of your embossing folders from any of your companies that you're working with. I'm also using a dark, this is the Texas Chocolate My Pink Stamper Stamp Pad that's now discontinued. Um, but you can use any chocolate or any dark brown ink pad. I'm also using Tweety Who Puns. This was one of my favorite stamp sets with my first release. Um, all of my stamp sets right now are discontinued as I retired from my, my business. I retired from the retail or the um, you know distributor part of my business about six months ago um, or less, I don't remember. Um, so for now my stamps are unavailable. I don't know what the future holds but right now they're unavailable. Uh, so if you see them online, get them while you can because they're pretty much gone. So you know just use whatever I show you in my videos. Just use something that you have on hand that's similar. You don't have to use the exact same product that I use. Isn't this cute? This tape dispenser. I think I got this at, at Target or something, but you know, it's pink, of course. Um, so we're going to be using tape as well, and I have some scissors, and of course, adhesive, and just all of your basic necessities. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is do uh, use the Cricut and make our cut. So straight from the nest of the, is the cartridge that we're using and we're cutting the first image which is on page 28 of the handbook. It's just the simple bird right here. So we only need three pieces of cardstock, one for the feet, one for the main body, and one for the wing. And what I am using for the bottom, I mean for the feet I'm going to use chocolate to kind of coordinate with my ink pad. I'm using a pink that coordinates with my striped, see how it coordinates? It doesn't match this perfectly, but it coordinates with the lighter pink in the stripes. And then I'm also using um, just an extra leftover piece from the paper for the wing. And you can put this all on your mat at the same time. I just want to remind you that when you're looking at the mat, you can see this. Ah! I'm going to turn it around. There's a little arrow right here, um, and that's how it goes into the mat, or you can do it upside down. Um, but just remember that when you're cutting it, it's like you're putting your when you're loading your mat with your paper that you're going to cut, just remember that it's like you're putting your handbook into your Cricut this way. So when you load your paper, you know, make sure that you load it sideways, if that makes any sense. We're going to start with the feet, and so I'm going to put, the, put that right up here on top. Make sure your mat is nice and sticky. And then I'm going to add my pink here next. And then I will go ahead and just add my 
polka dot just up here. It doesn't really matter where it is. So let's head on over to my Cricut and get cutting. Here is my Cricut Expression and mine is pink. And actually I have seen these pink ones at hsn.com, I believe even overstock.com. Um, one of my friends, her husband texted me before Christmas and he asked which Cricut he should get for his wife. And of course, you know, I sent him a link to the pink one and to the blue one. Um, Hallmark Scrapbook also has a blue one if, if you still need to get a Cricut Expression or you want a blue one. Um, but I sent, you know, so she texted me that she got this for Christmas, the pink one, and I was so excited for her. But anyway, if you still like the pink one, it's still available at some places. Okay, so like I said, we're going to cut the bird right here. And we are cutting the bird at three and a quarter inch. So your knob on the right, you know, I'm over here. The knob on the right, this is uh, where you set your size. So three and a quarter inch. I have my paper saver button on. And I have my blade set to six because I am using thicker um, paper. You could use, you know, it just depends on what type of cardstock you're using. I do not recommend, I don't recommend using the cheap cardstock you get from, you know, the big box stores. Uh, some of it just sticks to your paint or your mat and it doesn't cut very well. Okay, we're going to press the bird up here because that's the first cut we're making. It'll be right here. Okay, press cut. I love to hear my cricket cutting. I've missed that. Okay, line return will bring your blade right up to the next spot over. Use your arrows on the right and then I'm going to be cutting in the right hand corner and now I'm going to press shift and I'm going to press my birdie again and cut and that will cut the top layer right here alright let's use our arrow buttons on the right and go down to my little pattern piece of paper and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press my layer shadow button on my keyboard which is right here on my overlay and I'm going to press the bird again. I do not need to hit shift or anything because I'm cutting the wing and it's in the bottom corner. Every time you hit shift, it will um, give you the image on the top right. So we don't need to hit shift. If you're, if, you never, if you're confused with what you're cutting, go ahead and wait till it shows up in your little window. I need to remind myself to do that more often because I get ahead of myself sometimes and cut the wrong image. Okay, let's put that together. I have the little birdie right here and I have the little wing separate and I wanted to pop the little wing up just to give it a just a tiny bit of dimension and these dots, these sticky doos or whatever they're called, they come with the smaller ones so I'll just pop the smaller one on the back which had the other pattern on it, do you remember that? So you could always change this up you know, do whatever kind of pattern you'd like on here and I have the little birdie done. So let's finish the rest of the card. I'm just going to pull this over right here. Now what we're going to do, this already has a pattern on it. It has the stripes. But we're going to add a little more texture and another pattern on to this um, background. Let me move this up a minute, a bit. Here's the cuddle bug all ready to go. And I'm using, like I said, Divine Swirl. I'm going to turn it to the side and I'm going to put, I don't want the bottom row to have any of the texture on it so I'm going to just put it in sideways and line it up, make sure the bottom is not showing any texture and now what I'm going to do is take the plates that come with the cuddle bug are 1A and 2Bs and some of them come with a C plate I don't think the newer ones do um, but you're going to sandwich it between the Bs and make sure the A plate is on the bottom. The cuddle bug's super easy to do. Let's see if I can get it in here. Okay. Just put it in here and you know it's like a pasta maker, like you're making pasta, which I don't own and I've never used one, so I don't even know why I compare it to that. But that's just what I've heard. So I can believe all the sources that tell me that. Okay, let me bring you down a little bit and get a better shot of what I'm doing. So fun looking like this. Okay, I have really missed making videos for you guys, so I hope you enjoy this quick video and hopefully I can make a lot more for you in the near future. Alright, I'm using some 
textured paper, so I forgot I'm using my trimmer, but I'm going to use a scoring blade on here. And I have, for those of you who think I haven't been crafting at all the past month, I've been crafting like crazy. I've just not had time to share it with you guys. I've had a lot of projects I've been working on. Um, okay, let me get back to the scoring. This is eight and a half by five and a half, so I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. And the reason I'm scoring it, like I said, I don't want to score it too much. It has a little bit of texture, so when I fold it over, I just don't want it to tear. And it's going to um, be just a little bit distressed at the top. Just a tiny bit distressed. And if you don't like that, you can go ahead and distress the whole thing around, you know, around the whole card to make it look like you meant to do that. No problem there. All right, now we're going to take the little strip. This is one and a half. Let me tell you the sizes. I almost forgot to do that. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Like I said, this was five and a half by eight and a half. So this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock, and you just cut it in half at five and a half. So you can make two cards out of one sheet of cardstock. This is four, four by five and a quarter. And this is five and a quarter by one and a half. And we're going to actually stamp on this one, and I like to stamp on it before I put it together. So we're using Tweety Who Puns, and we're using the sentiment that says, Some Birdie Loves You. And I just like to have cards on hand. You know, um, one of the things that I'm responsible for in the church is I work with the women in the church, and I'm sending out a lot of cards, and I'm visiting a lot of women um, just to check on them. And, and I like to, when I bring goodies by, I like to have a little card. And so... I really think this is going to be special for the women because it says, Some Birdie Loves You. Um, anyway, just something simple. Okay, Some Birdie Loves You. I'm going to say that a million times because I think it's so cute. Okay. I say okay a lot, I think, today. I'm not sure why. All I'm going to do now is use this adhesive. And I want a little bit of the bottom to show, and that's why, can you tell, that's why I didn't want the, um, I didn't want the texture from the cuddle bug to show on the bottom, because I want it to be flat, and when someone gets the card, they do kind of, you know, look in detail, like, whoa, how did they do that? And I think sometimes they're impressed. Sometimes I'm impressed that I can do simple things like this that look so extravagant. All right, we're using... We're going to do the cheater method, the My Pink Stamper cheater method that I introduced to you guys, I don't know, six years ago? It's been a long time. So the cheater method, you cut your ribbon just a little bit longer than your card, because I don't like to make bows, and I'm not very good at that. I'm still not very good at that, and I've been crafting, paper crafting for years, I don't know, 16, 17 years now, a long time. Okay, I'm going to just, isn't that pretty? It's just this pretty lace. It just gives this card some elegance. You flip it over and then you just tape both sides of the ribbon and we're not even tying anything today. That's all we're going to do with this. While we have it flipped over, go ahead and put your adhesive on. When you're working with the cuddle bug pieces, you're going to want to make sure that you do all four sides complete. Sometimes you just do the four corners. This is not the time to do the four corners because it will make it look bumpy because of the cuddle bug, um, the cuddle bugged piece of cardstock. So make sure all of your corners, everything, and then I even put some extra in here. You don't want it popping off. Isn't that so cute? This is so cute. I love it. Okay. We're going to put this here, and we are almost done with this super simple card. Where's my bunny, or my birdie? Birdie! I think I'm doing this right. Sometimes I forget. I have these ideas and then I forget what I'm doing and the card comes out completely different. I'm just thrilled that I'm able to make a quick video for you guys. Um, I have made so many videos over the past year. Years. <laughs> over the past years. That didn't make sense. Over the years. Um, that it's just so nice to be able to do it again. Okay. Here we go. And I popped that, that up with the pop dots too. Okay everyone, I hope you have a fabulous new year 2013. I'm not sure if I'll get another video up before I get to tell you that. And um, don't forget to stop by and visit me at mypinkstamper.com. 
I'll be checking in. I'm not sure as often. Um, I'm not sure it'll be as often as I used to, but I'm going to try. So I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Um, thank you for um, all of your wonderful comments. I love to hear from you guys. Bye-bye. Um, See you soon.